Hi everybody, this video is sponsored by a contribution from Sexy Ness. This is her story. Ali, I will begin by saying my mom is a narcissist. I was born in Panama in 1967. I'm 49 years old. My mom had two older brothers and she is the second of four sisters. My grandparents were loving and supportive to all six of their children. At 20, she got pregnant with me by a man she thought would be her husband. Nonetheless, he never married her, even when she found out she was pregnant. He did not want to have an illegal abortion, and so he continued to date other women, even as far as drive by in her car while she was pregnant with me in front of her home. At eight months old, she left me in Panama with her parents to find a better life in the U.S. I stayed with them until I was three, and my grandfather decided to bring me to the U.S. to see her while he was on vacation. She missed me so much that she decided not to let my grandfather take me back home with him. She then decided she would have me live with her, her old, her live with her older sister and her military husband, who I will call my uncle. I stayed there for some time until I was five, and she would drive down to see me. I don't remember too much of that, and I felt quite comfortable. I remember her teaching me the basics, like tying me my tying my shoelace and teaching me how to ride a bike. I did kindergarten with her and then I remember my mom coming to take me home with her to do first grade. I remember coming home and she having a boyfriend. He seemed pretty nice but he wasn't with us very long. After he left it was just my mom and I and we were okay. We had food, clothing, a nice two bedroom apartment. Then she started dating this man who lived upstairs with his friend and his best friend's wife. He took us out on a couple of dates, and then one night he came downstairs with a pillowcase full of clothes, and my mom told me he would now be living with us. I didn't know much about him, but I wanted my mom to be happy. He married my mom when I was nine, and I pretty much thought of him as my father since I never had a relationship with my biological since my grandfather took me out of the country. Well, at about 14 years old, my stepfather decided I was sexually attractive and he had come on to me by feeling my boobs and sucking my boobs and telling me what beautiful boobs I had and went on, and this went on for about two months, molesting me with no penetration. And I got upset one day and decided to tell my aunt. My grandparents have since moved from Panama and bought a home with their son and his wife, which was close to my school, so I decided to tell my aunt what was happening. I had been feeling sad and strange. My aunt got so upset and demanded that I talk to my mother. My mother was told to come home from work immediately so that I could talk to her. I told my mom what happened, and she was very upset. She instructed me to stay at my grandma's house until she came back to get me, which was cool because I didn't want to be there anyway and it was close to my school. One week later, she came and picked me up and told me that we were going to straighten all this out as a family. Oh, shit. By the way, my aunt and grandmother did not intervene for me. They let her do whatever she wanted. In the car home, she was asking for every single detail of what he said and what he did to me when he was molesting me. I was so afraid when we got home and my mother confronted him immediately. He didn't deny it and actually told my mom, yes, I wanted your daughter. And when he began to pack up his things to leave, my mom stopped him and decided to keep her marriage to this child molester. Once again, another mother choosing dick and attention over a child and another family of appeasing sexual abuse with that. That's when my life actually became a little living hell. Of course, because she's co-signing now him the friggin' me sucking on your boobs. Now I believe my mom was looking at me as the other woman and not as a daughter that needed to be protected through the years of search for love and low self-esteem that had me ending up with more narcissists and being used by men and women were, who weren't truly my friends. Of course you were. Your mother right there in that moment told told you that 
you are now competition. That the fact that you were friggin' sucking on my daughter's boobs and don't leave, of course it put you, I mean, that just told you your value right there. Right there in that. While I was living with my mother, it was like, it was, I stayed in that house until I was 21, and we finally got a chance to move out, and I ended up moving to a low-income project not too far from my mother. While I was living with my mother, it was, it was torment. She was angry and bitter, and it was a house full of tension. I really couldn't have any friends over because everything was so weird. I honestly felt like my mom had a serious disliking for me. Yeah, because she probably blamed you. By the way, I'm just, I'm an only child. So I move out still having contact with my mother, and I met a guy who just got out of jail and had a baby with him. I guess at the time my self-esteem was so low, I really didn't know who I was and what was best for me. I ended up having a baby and going to college on welfare. My daughter's father worked odd jobs and had no desire to improve his life. I finished school in human services and he started smoking crack and sniffing heroin. When, when my daughter was now two and I had to get away from him, I called the police and used the order of protection and he stayed away from me. Fast forward five years, my mother practically took my child and did everything, and I did everything for her as if I was her child, and I was just too depressed to fight or argue with anything. My daughter ended up developing oppositional defiant disorder at the age of 15, and that was another stressor. At this point, at this point is when I really figured out something was really wrong with my mother. She became cold and distant even more when I would go to my mom's house to try to discipline my daughter. She would tell me to get or get out or she would call the police on me. I became very angry and started having panic attacks to the point where I had to be hospitalized for a week. I came out of the hospital determined to get into therapy and get to the root of all that, all that was happening in my life. And then my daughter, my mom would say one thing and do another. I tried to discipline my daughter as the therapist instructed me and my mom would go behind my back and give my daughter money and do things I distinctly asked her not to when she tried when she, when she tried when she was tired of my daughter she would simply just tell her to go home and get away from her the relationship continues to deteriorate as i realize my mom really had no empathy for anything that i was going through and that the molestation was a big part of my depression and anxiety and why I couldn't seem to grow as a human being. I met a nice pastor who agreed to counsel our family. By the way, I have... <clears throat> By the way, I have two aunts that is aware of the abuse and no one confronted my mom about him or him about this behavior. The whole family just totally ignored everything and kept him a part of the family as normal. So I began to think everything was normal. I began, I began to get more depressed as I realized that she didn't care about how this affected me. She never asks how my therapy is going and she doesn't seem to be interested in me, my stepfather, in, in me. My stepfather acted like I don't exist and if I call the house phone to speak to my daughter, he won't even answer the phone. And my mom says, that's okay. He doesn't, have, he doesn't have to if he doesn't want to. We met the pastor and he tells me, we met with the pastor and all he tells me to do is just forgive. I just have to forgive my mother. My mother says that she is mad at me because of the mean things I've said to her as a mother, but she has to forgive my but she had to forgive my stepfather since he recently had heart surgery. And that's when she let her anger for him go. Really? That's when she let her anger for him to go, when he had the heart surgery. Not staying with him for years after he molested you. 
She still continues to show no empathy, empathy towards my feeling, and she has become even more distant and even more mean, like she can't stomach me. I thought, I thought getting everything out with the pastor would put everything in the past, and we could be one big happy family, as best we could. But even after the meeting, she's back to her cold talk and ways of nastiness in the way she speaks to me or deals with me. I am, I am so tired already, and I don't know what else to do to get this woman to love me. But she's sure, but she's sure he loves that man. Should I go no contact already? I don't know what else to do. I am trying acceptance. I don't know how. I feel so alone. I have no siblings. One or two good friends, they tell me, they just keep telling me to get over it. My daughter says that when she's in the house with them, my mother rages a lot. I call to talk to my daughter and the phone on the phone, and she gets in the conversation and starts commenting on the conversation that I'm having on the phone with my child. She doesn't respect boundaries, and she doesn't love me either. I don't know what to do. What's wrong with this woman? Will you please help me? I listen to all your stories on YouTube, and they help me a lot. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have this community of people that's been abused by narcissists. I donated to your PayPal. Thanks a lot for listening to my story. Sexy Ness. Why, why are you trying to get a woman to love you who allowed a grown-ass man to suck on your breasts at 14 years old? Admitted to it. He admits to it, goes to pack his bags, and then she stops him. And you're trying to get her to love you? That bitch don't love you. Should have proven it right there where her fucking priorities are in her life. Neither does the family. Look, and you know what? Charlene will tell you the same thing. Latino families like to put on the family show for other people. But then a lot of times they excuse this type of shit that goes on. They excuse it. Your mother sold everything you were at that moment. She sold the right to your body, what it means, who you are, your own self-worth, your own self-value. And you are still at 49 years old trying to get this woman to love you. The narcissist will never love you, no matter what you do. The narcissist is never going to love you. They only care about themselves. And she's getting some kind of sick supply having your daughter there. Keep your daughter out of that house. You don't need them. Excuse me. After effects, still. If your mother allowed your stepfather to molest you. You don't think he's going to do, she'll do the same thing with, to your daughter? And fuck this pastor. Pastors are terrible. Pastors are usually the source of problems. They're never a solution to problems. Just get over it. Gee, thanks, God. Is that God's advice? Just get over, you know, a 14-year-old man sexually molesting me, admitting to it, and my mother choosing him over me. That's what I'm supposed to get. Get over what? And your mother's concerned how you talk to her. You're lucky. She's lucky you didn't freaking strangle the bitch. And you're still questioning whether or not you should go no contact. You should go no contact yesterday. This woman's never going to love you. She's never going to care about you. She's never going to put your needs above hers, obviously. Obviously. So yes, you need to go no contact. You need to go no contact very quickly and get your daughter away from her and everybody else who knew about it and enabled it because that's bullshit. That's bullshit. You're there trying to fix things. No wonder your mother's going to keep being cold because you're the one trying to fix everything. Your mother won't even acknowledge that there's a problem. You're wasting your time.
And the longer you stay involved with these people, the longer you're going to have these problems. There's no forgiving and forgetting here. The fucking woman chose a child molester over you. What's to love? Because she sure don't love you. Thank you for your contribution and thank you for your story. Please listen to my advice here because this is only going to get worse. And for your daughter's sake, get everybody away from that situation. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any comments or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you have a story, an audio, a narcissist you'd like to, to expose, or you just like to contribute to the channel, you know what to do with the PayPal link in the description box. Even if you can't contribute, send me your story anyway. I'm sure I'll be able to use it. I will have the, and I'll have the videos right back to you. Zali Matthews, thanks for watching. I'll see you all again shortly. Bye.